This is Taking Stock on Bloomberg. I'm Pim Fox. All right, the euro hitting a four-year low this morning against the U.S. dollar. Hungary is still a major concern to many investors. My next guest knows the neighborhood well. Vlad Milev is an analyst at Metzler Payden. He manages the European Emerging Markets Fund. It's posted a 100 percent. Yes, that's a 100 percent return last year. Vlad, I wonder if you can do that again. Tell me, you got a lot of investments right now in Hungary. What's going on there? Uh, payments. It's not looking too good in Hungary right now. It's. Uh, we've been asking the question since we heard those words uh, late last week. Why would you say something like this? Why would you do this to the market? Well, tell you, Vlad, explain exactly what investments. the gov explain exactly what the new government of Hungary said to the world about Hungary being similar to Greece. Yeah, so Fidesz just won a landslide victory at the end of April and has just formed a government. And one of the first official um, pronouncements they made was in regards to the country's fiscal health and stability. And they compared the country to Greece. Now, I don't know anybody in Europe who wants to compare to Greece. We've just went through this major turmoil in the markets because of Greece. So do you want to tell your potential investors and your current investors that you're just like Greece? No. And so what did the markets do? The markets completely sold off. CDS, or the cost of insuring, the five-year cost of insuring against the fault in the debt, went from a 200 handle to a 400 handle within two days. Um, what do you do if you're the prime minister? I mean, I think most people would start uh, backing off from that statement. No, another guy from the government comes in and says the same thing, essentially. So it took them a couple of days until the weekend to say, you know what, uh, we may have overstated that. We may have gone a little too far with that statement. So we think the budget deficit is still going to be within our, our official um, target. And uh, oh, sorry about that. But the market, guess what the markets did? Well, they came back a little bit, but CDS is still in 390. So um, you're still suffering from what you just said. But, but but, Vlad, I mean, okay, if it does cost more money now to insure against the default of Hungarian government debt, what, why does this matter to anybody investing in the euro? They don't even use the euro in Hungary. Well, I think that, uh, well, first of all, Hungary is a European Union member, so they may not be in the Eurozone, but they're in the European Union. So, in a way, the problems that Hungary may be f facing going forward are also problems for Europe as a whole. If you remember in 2008, when Hungary was, in fact, in a much worse situation, uh, they had to be, I don't want to call, I don't want to call it bailout, but they had to uh, be helped by a package which was crafted by the IMF, the EU, and the World Bank. Um, so, and this was a package of 20 plus billion euros at the time. Um, the concern, of course, is that they may have to happen again, even though, once again, the numbers don't look like they need this kind of, uh, you know, official help and they're not in such dire straits. It's just that the statements made by a very high-ranking government official, the prime minister himself, um, really, really um, made, made the uncertainty come back to this part of the market. And then people start questioning the rest of the region, the rest of the region's story. Um, that's what you don't want to see happen, but that's what happened over the last couple of days. But Vlad doesn't this just mean that it gets less expensive to go take a vacation in Hungary? I mean, isn't this where everyone's going to be headed? I mean, if the Hungarian foreign declines in value against the euro or against the U.S. dollar, doesn't this ease their pain? They devalue their way out of the problem. Yes, to an extent. So if you're a local manufacturer, um, you're better off, certainly. And the foreign has declined over the last few months, uh, primarily because of those concerns and now the added concern over the statements from the prime minister. The other side of that, though, is, and if you remember, we, we went through that debate a few years back. A lot of debt in Hungary is uh, foreign currency denominated. Uh, and that's on the household side as well as the corporate side. So the household side, you're looking around two-thirds of the debt on the on the corporate side, about half of the debt is denominated in a foreign currency. So when you have Vlad, the can you just sliding, give us an example of what you mean by this idea of having foreign currency debt? I mean, does this mean that people bought homes in Hungary, but the mortgage isn't denominated like in Swiss francs? Correct. So in order to take advantage of lower rates elsewhere, and this was kind of a personal carry trade, if you will, in order to take advantage of that, people took a 
Japanese yen or a Swiss franc denominated mortgage, which is all fine and dandy until your own local currency starts to depreciate. Um, you get paid in foreign, you're paying in yen, yen is more expensive than the foreign now, you're paying more every, every month. That's, that was a concern at the time, and this may become a concern again because, as I said, those numbers are actually pretty intimidating. So what happens next in Hungary, Vlad? Well, I think that the markets may have overreacted on this one. Um, we're not in such a such quite bad situation. Um, the, the official numbers we have: 80 percent debt to GDP, about equal to the eurozone level. Not great, but it's not Greece. Um, the same thing about their uh, deficit numbers. Now they're probably going to go up, and Fidesz is going to have to realize how they will reconcile their populist agenda, which they just won a uh, landslide victory with, and fiscal right. austerity. We're as soon have to as leave they figure it out, Vlad, then we're going to have to leave it there. Maybe we'll meet on that Hungarian vacation. Vlad Milev coming to us from Metzler Payton.